Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. It is week five of 2019 and I am working in my Hobonichi weeks. So I'm starting off with that same strip of brown craft paper that I have been doing the past, well, since, since the beginning of this year. And what I usually do is I just use that strip to highlight the appointment times and activity times for that week. And I have actually a bunch of these strips already cut out. So I have a stack of these that are already cut to size. So each week I can just grab one and just get to work. So it helps that I don't have to spend extra time cutting each little strip of paper every week. And as you can see, I have a lot of washi tapes that I'm going to be using. I decided that these tapes would be the focal point this week. So I'm, I'm changing it up just a little bit. And these tapes are from like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, those kinds of stores. And they come from those coordinating packs that you can get, you know, just in the clear tubes. And I would not necessarily pick these out for myself now because it might tastes have changed since I bought these. However, I don't want to waste them. And I find that if I get myself to be a bit more creative with them, that I can find ways to make them work for me and I can end up being really happy with the end result. So last year when I used these, I would just put them uh, it's really popular to just put them along the bottom and, you know, to cover up the Japanese writing, which, which is what I did. And I did that and I would put a little along the top, you know, just around the margins. And after doing that, like all year, I was just really uninspired and I just didn't know how else to use them. And I was finding that it was really bulking up those specific areas because each week I would put them along the bottom just in the same area. So I had a really good time with this one because I kind of created like a little washi tape waterfall and it was just a new and interesting way to use them for me um, given given my past. So I'm I was really happy with the way that turned out. I haven't stuck the bottoms of the washi tapes down yet because I didn't want to really adhere them all the way because I, I didn't know if I wanted to play with the lengths of those and maybe rip off a little bit extra or something. But I ended up liking how jagged everything was at the bottom. So I will uh, push them all down later on. And so these little plant stickers that I showed, they are from Sissy's Art Cafe and uh, it's run by a young lady named Cecile and I have become a patron of hers. Uh, she just started Patreon and I decided that um, I would really like to be a patron of someone. And she has just a little bit of a smaller following and I was just really happy to be able to become a patron of hers. Her artwork is just adorable and so cute and vibrant and she has two tiers that have like happy mail so that was another thing that attracted me to her patreon so for january's happy mail uh she sent out these plant stickers and i knew i wanted to use them and it was part of the inspiration for putting those washi tapes down anyway uh, because it has uh, her stickers have such vibrant colors and I I think I subconsciously selected those washi tapes to coordinate with those plant stickers but I just like how everything came together in the end and the white stickers that I showed I have a bunch just hanging out up above the on the screen there at the top and I just went through my stash to find any plain looking stickers that I had. And those are what I'm going to be using on top of the washi tapes just to write all my notes and things. And I just wanted to find the most simple ones that I had because I just didn't want it to get lost or compete too much with the busyness of the washi tape. 
So those two on the bottom that have the seven days, uh, it goes from Monday through Sunday. So I'm going to play with some tracking this week. I don't track things really. Um, I know that's like a really big deal for a lot of people, but I'm just the worst at tracking stuff. I find that I get so honed in with with the actual tracking of a thing and I forget to learn anything from it or to have it help change my habits and things like that, you know? So I'm cautiously trying to track uh, my laundry. I theoretically, I will do laundry once a day and it helps just keep me on top of it and prevents me from having to dedicate like a whole day or two or three of just doing nothing but laundry. So when I do laundry, I like to wash, dry, and put away one entire load. And if I can do that in a day, then um, then I'm good, then I, I'm good to go. But I've kind of stepped away from that just because of the holidays and you know, stuff like that just happens and you kind of get out of your groove. So I want to track that for this week and see if I can get back in that habit again because it's just so convenient to just constantly be on top of something like laundry because it can get out of hand so quickly and when it gets out of hand it there's like no middle ground with laundry it's like you're either it's either all done or it's just like this massive like landfill of clothes everywhere so so yeah, so focus. I'm focused on that this week. And I have two of those stickers down because I had in my mind that I was going to track a second thing and I com I completely forgot about it. I still don't know what it is. So like that sounds pretty terrible, but maybe I'll figure it out. But the sticker's there, so I will be able to use it if I could ever figure out what the second thing was that I was going to track. <laughs> But I'm putting down all of my appointments for this coming week, and it's like a lot. I don't like having these many appointments, but it is what it is. At least, you know, I have my Hobonichi to, you know, help keep me <laughs> on track. So I got my jelly roll because these two little stickers that I'm about to write on with the little lines on it, um, these are due dates for some things. So I just want to make sure the things get done before those due dates and they should have been done weeks ago, but here we are. And I am probably going to end up doing those on those days. So yeah, so there's laundry and this is me like, I thought I was going to do a second thing and I can't remember. So I just left it alone. And this is my little like to do list. And I decided that I do not like hand lettering the words to do because there's not enough letters there to make it pretty. So I've changed it to task list and it's much better. That really works for me now. So I really like how that turned out. I'm going in with the doodling. I was really light with it this week. I just put some sparkles and not very much. I have my pen there. It's see, it's ready to go and I decide against it. I was preparing to go in with my botanical type things that I always do and as I was sitting there looking at it I thought that it didn't need it I thought there was enough stuff on there that I didn't need anything to bring it together but I did put these two random little sparkle stickers there and for some reason I just like really loved those but those were the only ones on the sheet so I actually dig out some colored writing utensils. So I got my Crayola super tip and I thought the color matched pretty well, but I just wanted to put some uh, similar sparkles down to kind of balance out the page. I put a third one in there. And for some reason, just having that brought the whole spread together for me. So yeah, I was really happy with this and I'm glad I kind of tried something new and it's bright and fun and happy. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a great start to your February. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye.